Hi, I thought I'd do a preamble to this short video back drifting at Farmore. We I did one for last year, 2018, and um, I've had a thousand views on that, so obviously somebody's watching it. And um, I thought I'd do this one with a few hints and tips on um, how we do it. I was taught to backdrift by a friend of mine, Bob, who gave me a quick masterclass in backdrifting. And um, I've been playing around and, uh, how should I put it, refining my technique for some time since then. I have to say this is definitely just a cold water tactic. Uh, we've done it with ice in the bottom of the boat at Farmore and um, still works. The trout are still there, they're still feeding but they're very very deep and they're hard to the bottom as you'll see in the fish finder shots. So the flies I was using on this particular occasion, the white booby with the yellow eyes, um, that's rabbit fur tail, a zonka tail, that was the one that caught most of the fish on the first on that day and it's the one that I catch a lot of the fish on a lot of the time. The red on the dropper was this one. Again I had that on because last year when we were catching and killing, which I don't often do, the fish mostly catch and release and uh, took a few for the table. They were full of bloodworm. I might have a shot that I can add to the video later for that. Um, the coral worked as well, but far more on their website, not their website, on the Twitter account said coral boobies were doing the damage. Um, and I had a black on the point or on the dropper occasionally. Um, during the day and that caught Fisher too. And then in the afternoon when it all went very quiet, the old pink um, snake did the trick. We've nicknamed this the Barber Cartland. <laughs> if any of you know your romantic fiction, which I doubt you will. Um, I used to work in publishing, so, so I know all about it. Barbara Cartland. Um, a pink zonker it's about ooh, how long is it um i can't remember about three four inches in length and i tie these myself i tie i drill the booby eyes with a piece of car aerial that i put in the drill and i sharpen the point with the, the file and they it drills those out works very well. The yellow eyes came from these Tronics um, line holders, line binders, rig holders, whatever you want to call them. They're really cheap to buy. So that, that. Um, and the Zonka material is as you, as you probably know just rabbit fur, commercial rabbit fur. Um, dyed in different colours, white, pink. I don't, I don't I go over the top on colours. Um, the key to back drifting is it isn't just feed the line out behind the boat, drag it along behind the boat, and wait for the fish to bite. That sometimes works, but it doesn't always work. Sometimes you have to feed different lengths of line out. You have to know when your far sink line is coming up off the bottom. Quite often it pays to hang the flies when the fly line comes up off the bottom if you're retrieving it and just hang the flies so the boobies are slightly up in the water and the fly line's hanging down off the bottom. That quite often works. I take the fish finder because I'm a big lure fisherman and I perch fish down at Grafham as well. Not Grafham, sorry. Well, I do fish perch fish at Grafham, but at far more. And... Um, it's a case of looking for bottom, looking for features to fish to. Anyway, I hope that helps in the preamble. I'll put a better shot of the flies on the video and um, at the end probably. 
and um, enjoy the video. Uh, leave me some comments if you like and um, look forward to hearing from you. Thanks. Right, so we're at Farmore and we're fishing catch and kill for trout. It's a lovely day. It's the 25th of January and it's very, very mild with a little mist. I was up at the crack of dawn to get here and had a nice easy journey up. And we've been fishing for about 25-30 minutes, Alan. Yeah. And uh, I've had two to, so far. Two casts, two, two fish. So I'm not sure how that's going to progress. Um, and one of the first fish was about three and a half pound. And the second fish was a proper slimline silver darling. Um, we're drifting the west, no, the south bank. There's the fish finder. Not showing any fish on the bottom at the moment. We'll keep you updated. So that's four casts and four fish up this end of the boat. But up that end of the boat. <laughs> It's not much happening. <laughs> so if you think back drifting's just a fish a chuck and all you do is wait for the fish, it's not. So there you go, another fish in the bag. That's on the black booby. That's a nice, nice little, uh, nice little rainbow there. Yeah. Nice and skinny. The fly come off. He swallowed. That'd be good eating. <laughs> the fly come off. Did it? Yeah, but the fish is in the net. Catch and release. So he counts. Look, there's fish on the bottom. Yeah. There's fish on the bottom here. This is the down scanner, that's the uh, the sonar, so down scanner, sonar. So there you go, rainbow trout number four for me. Alan has just caught his fish as well. So we're having a good day, a very slow drift for the time of year. Uh, we're, I reckon that's about five mile an hour wind. And I'm using a DI-8 and a red booby and a white booby. And all they seem to want is a white booby at the moment. So look, there's a fish. The trout are hard on the bottom. If that is trout, we haven't seen any up in the water. Everything has been fairly close to the bottom. So here's another example of a group of trout. Well, probably trout. Could be bream be perch but I doubt it I should think that's trout so 9.3 meters over two hours yeah yeah never come out till nine o'clock <laughs> and we've had five five had five yeah I've had two and you've had two so so far so good <laughs> <laughs> 